What's going on guys today? I'm going to show you guys how to get the third challenge done in NASCAR Heat 5 called Wreckfest V2. Um, Kurt, that's another Kurt Busch challenging you. Uh, basically, you uh, have, I think, like two or three laps to go at Talladega. Um, they start you in last of like the final like bunch of cars. Oh, it says it right here, 25 cars. And basically, there's like two humongous wrecks. This is honestly one of the harder challenges to do in the game. Because a lot of the times people just can't avoid the wrecks. And the wrecks on this challenge for some reason are just random. Like sometimes the wreck will be on the inside. Sometimes it will be on the outside. You know. And I'm going to show you guys the best possible way to do this. All right, guys, like in the previous videos, as soon as you, you know, get into the race, just go ahead and pause it real quick. Go into your driving aids anytime, and I mean, this is just, I mean, this is like NASCAR 101 stuff right here, but anytime you race Daytona or Talladega, Michigan is definitely an exception as well, but literally Talladega and Daytona, every time put that driving aid to expert. If you put it anywhere else, you will not be a competitor. You will literally be a Rick Ware racing car fighting for your top 35. So, basically, uh, when you put it on expert, go ahead and hit resume. So, the very first thing that's going to happen is there's going to be a wreck, I think, right in this corner. Sometimes it happens low, sometimes it happens high. And you'll notice it instantly. And you want to kind of get up here to this outside is what I like to do. But we'll see what happens here. See, it happens right there. And I got in the wreck. So I might not make it through. But we're going to go ahead and keep trying. See what happens here. And there's going to be another wreck that happens on the bottom of the track. And you'll notice it because you'll see a bunch of cars. And I'm not going to make it through there so we'll go ahead and hit the restart and try it again and like I said this is a little bit more of like a RNG trial and error type of thing but like I said the more the more you do it man the, the fat you know the more you do it the the more you'll catch on to where cars go but like I said it's it's really just random so here we go they're wrecking you notice I didn't go to the outside there but I did get clipped by Brendan gone and that might have cost me right there because I just do not have the speed to catch up with the other guys now but we'll see we'll see what happens here get to the bottom and I did manage to avoid that wreck pretty well only problem is just not enough time we're just not gonna have enough time to get there I think we're gonna get close but I just don't think we're going to have enough time to get there. And another thing, with this challenge, you need to have an actual custom setup. Because if you do just run the driving aids on expert, you will not be able to get to the lead. Like, you'll get close, you'll get fifth or sixth, but you... It, like you might be able to but the chances of it happening is very very slim and I think that's a lot of the reason why people have a problem with this but I will show you guys my custom setup once uh, we finish this so like I said try to avoid this try to get to the outside let's see if and oh brad did not get out of the way so might as well go ahead and restart it like i said just it is trial and error um we could try i'm gonna try the inside after i do one more attempt on the outside 
and we'll see what happens. So here we go, back on the outside. Ah, not bad. That was not bad. I cut it in between them right there. That kind of surprised that it went as well as it did. Let's see if I can get away with it right here. I did not I did not manage to get away with it. So we're gonna have to restart that. Almost. It's close. Just not quite there. Alright, and here we go. Let's try this again. Get to the outside. And there we go, you just cut in between them. That might be the strap we will use right there. Because man, that was not bad, honestly. I'm gonna see what this outside can do. And it can do jack all. <laughs> that is not the move to go. Mm. Yeah, we might have to use that bottom there. Because that's really what we're dealing with, is that second wreck is really killing us. I mean, we're there. We just can't... Whatever it is, we just can't... See? Oh, see? Did you notice that time he just bounced like a top? So, like I said, it is pretty RNG on how everything kind of works. Let's see what happens this time. Mm. I don't know if we'll have enough time to get there. Maybe? I doubt it though. It is going to be hard to get there. If we just had more speed out of the car, I think we would have been alright, but... Man, I will tell you. Mm-mm-mm. Man. We might get Newman here at the line. Oh, we almost did. But that's... that. Like I said, this is probably the most, like, hardest... It's probably the most like randomness challenge to do of the 20 just because you just don't know how the wreck is going to happen like if you've seen the first couple of times like brad just stayed on the wall this time he bounced off this that might be the move though right there see what happens here let's see if I can just like go right by these guys I'll tell you, it is close. Man, oh man, dude. We're getting there, we just can't. There's something about that second one that is rough. Uh, let's try it again. Let's see if Brad goes to the outside again like he did. He may, I don't know. There we go. Ooh! That was close. That was really close. Yeah, I don't really know how this is gonna go. Man, if they would just stop clipping me right there. 
I'd be all right, but man, they just they clip me, and that's just there's nothing I can do. All right, let's try to get back to the outside. That was perfect there. I couldn't have done that better. Mm, if, ooh, he said stay high. I wonder if I stay right on the wall. If it'll, I'm gonna try it this time. So let's go high. Oh, he bounced off. Wow. Hmm. I did not think he was going to do that. He did it right at the last second. Two, two. Nothing you could do there. I mean, Ross is just completely blocking me from getting to the bottom of the track. All right, here we go. Said so stay high. He bounced off, that was beautiful. That right there was beautiful. That time they stayed high, so it's just, yeah, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. But like I said, once you get past that second wreck, and if you can keep your speed, you're fine. Like I said, it's just avoiding those wrecks. Let's see what he does this time. I avoided it. Let's see if I can. And then I hit this. And the only thing about it, just don't seem to be enough there. Hmm. I another lap I can get him. But there just doesn't seem like there's enough there. If I could keep that 200 speed, I think I'd be fine, but... Alright, there we go. Through that wreck we go. Huge run from me. And Bush is going to try to guard that like his life depends on it. And there we go. And there you go, see? This time, <laughs> after multiple times of trying to do this, I did not get caught up in that wreck as much. And I'm getting a huge run on Hamlin. Hamlin is blocking me all the way to the bottom of the track. And then you try to stay on the bottom as best as you can. And there you go. You're, you're golden now. And then, like I said, you just got to try to avoid that wreck. But once you avoid that second wreck, you're fine. But that is the hardest part, honestly, probably out of all 20 of the challenges. So like I told you guys, since we finally beat it, 
I'm going to go ahead and exit out, and I'm going to show you guys my actual setup. Because if you notice throughout that whole entire time we were doing it, it's probably been almost 20 minutes just doing that over and over. Um, you notice my car was going like 200. But if you don't have a custom setup, and I'm talking like an actual custom setup, not those driving aids that I showed you. If you don't have an actual custom setup and you don't have it saved, your car is only going to do like 194 all the way around the track. I mean, you, you've seen my car was doing like 205, 206, 207. So I'm going to show you guys my setup at Talladega. So we're just going to pick career. I'll just hit Ryan Newman. And we'll go all the way down to Talladega. And I'm going to go to my quick race settings real quick just to make sure. Uh, real quick. Uh, what about qualifying session? Yeah, let's just do that. I just want to make sure that we do have a qualifying session. That way I can show you guys my setup. But like I said, I do appreciate your patience with, uh, uh, with the uh, the challenge. Like I said, there's just it's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of trial and error on that one. All right. So when you hit continue, um, as soon as you hit practice, literally, you'll see car setup, and it'll say change square. Um, you click square on that, and here is my setup. You go to custom race and then you change it. And that is my custom setup. So like I said, you see it right there. Um, you can take a screenshot of it if you want on PlayStation. That would probably be best. Just take a screenshot. Um, I don't know if everybody's got the PS app on their phones, but they can take a screenshot of it and then just, you know, go back in here and just uh, type it all out. But obviously three clicks, five, three, five, three, five, three, five. And then the weight settings is 54.2, 50.6, 47. And then fours on both of the ride heights. And then spring settings, you got 1,000, 1,200. And then you got 480 and 600. Then on your tire settings, you got 59 on all of the pressures for the tires. And then your miscellaneous settings, both of your cambers, uh, your left and right fronts, uh, one's going to be 4.9. And then the other one is going to be negative 4.4. The sway bar is 1.435. The left and right track bars, you got 775. And then you got 825. Brake bias, 70%. Uh, growth tape, 45%. Your wheel lock is 8 degrees. And then your steering offset is 0 0.100. I don't know if I messed with the uh, gear ratios, but I will show you. Uh, 345 is first gear, second gear. Uh, two. 140 on the third and then the rear is a 291 so that's like i said that's pretty much it uh for this video like i said this is going to be a little bit longer of a video because you know you got the rng on that challenge and i just wanted to you know film it entirely that way you guys know kind of what to do but anyways if you guys want uh go ahead and like comment and subscribe uh, for any more of my tips and tricks videos and guides or any of my uh, other videos on YouTube. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.